Oh, hey, the guests are back. Welcome back to Paradise, everybody. My name is John, also known as the Plant Power Barber, and today we've got an unboxing video for you. But first, I just want to say that everybody knows that I am absolutely Team Xbox all day. Don't question it. Don't ask me why. Just know that it's Team Xbox. But today, we're not going to be talking about Xbox at all. We're going to be talking about the opposite of Xbox. Today, we're going to be unboxing a new console, something that I'm really excited to finally be able to pick up two years later. I'm sorry, Master Chief. Please don't hate me. We've got the PS5 God of War Ragnarok Edition, which basically means that there's a code for God of War Ragnarok in here. Should be quick, should be simple. I'm excited to get into the video. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so here is the PS5 box without the God of War Ragnarok slip coverage. We're going to go ahead and open this to tab here. Let me stop the box. Okay, we got some really handy instructions. Step one, open the box. Step two, take the PS5 out of the box. Step three, stop reading and play the damn game already. So we got our power cable, very handy, nice and neat. We have Manuel, no, not Manuel, just the manuals. We got some safety, quick start guide, you know, all the good stuff. Here's how to plug it in, in case you didn't know how to do that. What do we have here? The controller. This is the DualSense controller. You know, I've always actually admired how PlayStation controllers feel. They don't really make loud noises when you press the buttons. The buttons are really smooth. I'm kind of interested to see the haptic feedback on the DualSense controller. You know, I know that Xbox controllers are really, really loud and clicky. And Sony's controllers have just always been really smooth, really soft. This is a really nice controller. Feels good. It feels very comfortable, right? Very comfortable. I'm not sure if I am okay with the thumbsticks being side by side like this. I think I definitely prefer the offset design of the Xbox controller where the thumbstick is up here and the the directional pad the d-pad is down there but this would be really really good if you play games with a lot of menus or games with like side scrolling and platforming and things of that nature having the d-pad right here in this spot is just absolutely perfect for that so maybe i'll check out some retro stuff i mean retro is probably not gonna be what i find that much of on the ps5 but we shall see what is out there all right so let's go ahead let's put the dual sense controller down down to the side let's take this insert out oh, what's this oh this looks like the stand i think that's exactly what this is so your ps5 will come with a little plastic piece so you can stand it up because i do not believe this console can stand on its own. I don't think it's flat on the bottom. I think it requires the stand. And this looks very confusing. I wonder what you hook up in there. That's something that obviously connects all the way to the other side. This is very interesting, very peculiar. I don't think I'm going to have my PS5 standing in tower mode with this piece. I think that I'm going to lay it down flat so it fits in my TV console area. And I'm going to put it on the shelf right below my Xbox Series X because that one takes precedent and this will replace the ps4 that is currently sitting on that shelf collecting dust because i don't get to play my ps4 that much but a lot of the games i was waiting to play on the ps4 i think i'm gonna have a really great time playing them on the ps5 with less load times and just better optimization overall so i'm hoping for that hdmi cable very important happy that we still get hdmi cables and they don't assume that we just have them from our older devices because i have a feeling that just like cell phones, that's gonna happen. And there she is. We've got the PS5 down there. Okay, wow, this is much heavier than I thought it would be to carry with one hand. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the box. Box, we don't need you. It just fell. We don't need the box. I'm gonna probably put that box on display. I keep the boxes for a lot of new things. And now I do have a lot of older consoles from when I was a kid and I do not have the packaging for any of that stuff. And I can only imagine how nice it would be to still have the packaging to my Game Boy Advance systems or my N64 or my Nintendo GameCube. Just stuff that would have been really nice to have a packaging for. So now with the newer devices that I buy on my own as an adult with my own adult money, I'm going to keep the packaging for it. Because in the future, you know, I don't know, open up a freaking museum in my house. I don't know. 
I don't know what I plan to do with all this junk that I'm hoarding, but uh, it makes me happy. And you guys get to see it at some point. It might be really interesting just to kind of stroll down memory lane. But we are not strolling down memory lane today. We are looking towards the future. The future, guys. Alrighty. Look at that. PS5 is such a large console. You know, I've seen plenty of people handling the console online, I'm taking pictures of it next to other devices this is it next to the controller just kind of getting an idea of how tall how massive this console is it's definitely a really nice looking design i mean it looks futuristic it looks like alien tech it looks like the back of an alien spacecraft or something like that i'm not entirely sure what sony's vision is per se i guess i'm missing it it looks cool it looks interesting and it does not look like a gaming device at at all this looks like some futuristic hard drive of some kind but it looks really cool i'm guessing that the air flows well from a design like this i'm pretty sure all the heat just expels itself out of this side and all the main components are crammed in on this side with the disk drive this is really cool really interesting to see usb c now on the front there remember things in the last generation were still usb a which we do have that usb a right next to it but they're giving us the option option for both which is cool and then we have our power button this is the disc eject button i'm pretty sure the digital version of this console doesn't even have this button and then i have noticed online that there is a way there are some companies out there that sell replacement shells so this white piece here the top piece and the bottom piece these do come off and if you purchase a shell you can just remove this ps5 white shell and put a different color playstation also sells official ones for that they have like blue and black and a couple of other colors I want to get a nice nice little angle of this thing i don't think i'm going to do that not from the way the camera is being held so we're just going to put it right there i think that's kind of how i'm going to have to have it resting we got the controller we've got the console we've got our cables which we will be using to hook up to the living room TV soon so we can take a look, maybe download some God of War and, and see what PlayStation is doing for this generation. So I am excited to jump into a lot of PlayStation exclusive stuff on here. Excited to get into Miles Morales. Excited to play the sequel to Spider-Man when that comes out. I know my wife is excited to play Horizon Forbidden West. There might be some other games on PlayStation that I might want to check out. Ghost of Tsushima. You know, a couple other PlayStation exclusive titles that I really bought this mainly to focus on that. And that's about it. So here we have it. Hope you guys enjoyed opening the PS5. Maybe we'll have something to discuss about the PS5 in the future. After we get some games in and we check it out, we play it some more. So thank you for joining me. And I will catch you guys on the next unboxing video, which will be very, very, very soon. Have a nice one. Peace.